Hello everyone and welcome back to AJ's Paintings. In today's video, I am going to show you how I created this beautiful tree. I really wanted to try this combo. This is um, light blue with uh, pink, green and turquoise with a little bit of silver and black. And it came out absolutely beautiful. So um, let's start. For the base coat, I covered it with white flow acrylic mixed with flow troll and water and I made sure that there were no bubbles I torched it before and now let's continue I think I'm going to start with magenta this is artist love paint mixed with flow troll and water and I just mix them up beforehand and I keep them in these bottles and it just stays Okay, just gonna eyeball it. Okay. And do turquoise. Okay, and this one is neon pink. Oops. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do fluorescent green. line of this I don't want too much green in there so I'm not putting too much on and silver instead of gold I'm using silver and last one is light blue permanent by Liquitex Basics. Okay, I usually swipe with black, but I'm thinking uh, if I should do it with gray or with black. Hold on, let me just get the paint. Just stick with black. All right. Okay. So now, at this step, I have to make sure they pop all the bubbles before I go on to the next one. Let's see how it's gonna look. Okay, so these are just cardboards that I cut. These are basically come with the canvas, you know, the, uh, the top part. I just cut it into small, like, rectangles and I just use these to swipe. And I'm just trying to make sure that the, the, the side that I'm using to swipe, it's not crooked, it has to be straight. Okay, so let's start from down here. And I just put it in the black and I really, really slowly move it around. There we go. And wipe it off. Okay. 
go through a lot of paper towels. <laughs> but we have to make sure that we... Okay, so now the next one, I'm going to overlap it a little bit. There we go. All right. Now you see those white speckles? They are not, they're gonna keep developing. And we should be able to see more. Okay, now to the other side. Same thing. Again, wipe it off. I use one cardboard as much as I can until it gets flimsy and then I will move on to the next one. Okay, overlapping again. Very slowly. There we go. this out of the way. <clears throat> okay, last one. Awesome. Okay, I don't mind these lines, I actually like them, but sometimes if it gets a little bit bigger, then I'll just take a smaller one and I'll just go over it. Very lightly. Okay, hold on. Start from the black. Okay. So that doesn't bother me because I'm going to go over it with the tree, so it's fine. And it is going to start developing too. Alright. I like what's happening in here. It's so nice. Okay. So, now is the time for the tree. So this part, it doesn't really bother me because um, I would just leave it right now and once the painting is dry and if it still doesn't look good then I go over I take all the paints that I've used in here and I just take a brush and I just try to make sure that whatever color is there I dab it on to uh, go back with the painting but it right now if I try to fix it it will just ruin it okay so I'm gonna start from here for my trunk this is a uh, cardboard again they cut in a small piece and I'm going to start from here and then go up on top. Don't press too hard. And just like that. Wipe it every time. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm thinking if I should go on this side or on this side. Mm. Doesn't really matter. Okay. I'll just go over it. Now the other side. Just wiggle it a little bit. Because it's a tree, it doesn't have to be all the same. There we go.
I actually like this part right here. I don't want to mess it up. But I need to continue on this side. So maybe I'll start from here. So in the end, I just pick it up so I would get that like a thin line in the end. I kind of like that, but I'm thinking if I should keep it or cover it. It looks cool, but it's not part of the tree, so maybe. I like it when there's like this part like white shows here and there because it it I don't know it just looks good it gives it more uh, depth I guess uh, in here oh I love this I don't know if you guys can see it uh, but it looks so cool um, I'll bring the camera down in the end to show the close-up but I really like this part. The cells that are developing, they're awesome. Okay. It's always hard to know when to stop. We kind of like the minimalistic nature of this tree. So maybe not go too much. going to leave it like that I kind of like it yeah I don't think I'm gonna touch it anymore okay so let's put on the bottom part of the tree um, it just looks kind of cool doesn't really mean anything I guess because <laughs> you don't really see roots like that but Okay, so what I do is I will leave this to dry completely and once the painting is completely dry, uh, hold on, let me show you what I do with it. This is another one that I did um, some days ago. So what I do is once the painting is dry, I paint the sides black like this and then uh, once that's dry and the, I, I'm sh completely sure like this painting I I don't know it's like been four or five days since I did it and I am still waiting I wait until it's completely dry because there is paint so it will take some time to completely dry and once this is completely dry I pour some pouring medium on it so I'll show you how uh, the painting looks once you pour the medium. So you see how this painting right now is not shiny as much. But let me show you another one that already has the top coat that I put on and how that one looks. Okay, so this is another one. You might have seen it on. You see the shine. I don't know if you can see it. See the shine on this one? So this is what happens when I put on the top coat. It brings back the shine. Okay, so I think the painting is now complete. I am going to take you down to show you how it looks uh, in the close-up. So um, I know the colors look a little bit different because I am shooting this with my phone and the other was with my camera so the colors look a little bit different but you can see how beautiful it looks the cells that it created that's just beautiful thank you so much for watching guys and please do subscribe hit the like button and please share with your friends and also leave me a comment if you have any question or just say hi i love to hear from you thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye